Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the daily message for October 23rd. I think it's October 23rd today. So keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could play out over the next couple days. This reading may or may not be for you. So please do only take the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. So I do believe we're full steam ahead in Scorpio season. Scorpio is all about transformation. Scorpio is going deep into the depths of our shadow selves. So we'll see what kind of a message needs to come through today when it comes to the energies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the channel to never miss a reading. Um, feel free to like the videos, comment on and share them to help them circulate in order to help the channel grow. And let's see what needs to come through for a message today. What does the collective need to be aware of when it comes to the energies today? A new life is on the horizon, but I think you're going to have to face a challenge head on in order to kind of improve your life. Bottom of the deck, live your soul's purpose. So there is always a greater purpose that we came here to fulfill this lifetime. And I do feel somebody here in the energies today really is encouraged to embrace their higher purpose to really remember everything that you came here to do, to accomplish, and then to kind of step into demonstrating love and compassion um, when it comes to your spiritual journey. I think get ready for a challenge ahead. I think um, some obstacles that, that you might have to face in order to improve whatever situation you're kind of in. I think you might be tested in the energies today and you are encouraged to stand strong within your own personal beliefs, kind of is what's coming through. As you step into this new life, this new experience, I do believe a breakthrough is at hand when it comes to the message today. I think solutions are right around the corner. The energy really is transformative, I feel, especially when it comes to a stagnant situation. I think somebody here has been working really, really hard to step into a new, um, into a new life. And I think very, very soon this hard work is going to pay off. So I do believe you are going to persevere. I feel a lot of self-development in the energies today. This is beautiful energy coming through. And I think somebody here is coming into that alignment with their soul, with their purpose, stepping into a brand new life. And maybe there is going to be a challenging moment ahead as you really integrate a lot of these energies stepping into your authentic self stepping into your purpose and I think this really is the time to do this I think with self-development we need to recognize we are always 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 working on ourselves that self-development journey never ever ceases to exist so I do feel this deep yearning in the energies too when it comes to stepping into nurturing the parts of yourself that maybe you have neglected. So let's see what other energies need to come through. Today I picked the Shadows and Light Oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish. We'll see what other energies need to come through when it comes to this breakthrough, this challenge ahead. What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to this message today, please? Oh, look at they're flying all over. Okay, we have bottom of the deck, stiffed, bored, and stuck. And that's kind of what I was feeling before I tapped into the energy. So I feel whatever's been making me a stiffed board, there is going to be a challenge to break free. I do feel there is a lot of healing in the energies. And um, with this pile here, I kind of feel... Like a lot of spiritual communication, it says we're here, um, trick-or-treating. And this really is a journey about stepping into your true authenticity. So I kind of feel somebody here is really grumpy in the energies when it comes to this challenge. I think somebody has been feeling very stuck, very bored, and really wanting to break free. And I do feel the energy really is encouraging somebody not to lose hope. Perhaps somebody got tempted and they're really paying a very high karmic price in the energies today. I think, you know, all that glitters can be quite tempting, but it can lack a lot of authenticity and a lot of spiritual depth. And I feel somebody here is pretty grumpy when it comes to maybe not receiving what they thought they were going to be with a tempting offer. And I, and I do feel this energy of like third eye coming through as somebody taps into their clairvoyance capabilities. 
So I do feel spiritual communication, and I do feel a lot of ancient Akashic wisdom is coming through with the energies today as somebody kind of steps into some authenticity. And I feel somebody has found a solution when it comes to breaking free, when it comes to embracing this deep healing that's coming through, because somebody here I feel is needed when it comes to the collective in the natural world so i think somebody here is maybe in some dark energy when it comes to lacking hope i do feel somebody got tempted by the apple um and i feel there's there's definitely healing to be had in the energies when it comes to breaking free i think this truly is a time of connection when it comes to your spiritual source and, and your higher information that's coming through. And I do feel a lot of integration when it comes to the energies as this breakthrough is at hand. So let's see what the general archetype energies are um, that need to come through when it comes to this message today. What else can you tell me? Goddess. So that is regal divine feminine energy coming through. I feel that really is tapping into you know, your inner feminine energy and expressing that soul's wisdom, really stepping into, you know, being of service and, you know, to be of service really is to use what, um, use what you had to heal in order to help others heal. And as I say that, bottom of the deck healers. So that needed to come through. Maybe your soul's purpose is to step into a healing role within the collective. I do feel somebody here has a passion to serve others, to help others repair their mind, their body, and their spirit. And somebody here really does have the ability to transform pain into healing. So maybe this challenge you're facing is going to hurt a little bit, but as you heal from this challenge, it really allows you to step into the self-development um, in order for you to help others along, along the spiritual path. I do feel with the goddess energy, that's really stepping into that feminine energy of healing, of, rece of receptiveness, and being open to, you know, exploring the spiritual journey in its, in its totality. It is speaking of this life force energy being activated as somebody kind of taps into their spiritual wisdom, their Akashic wisdom. I do believe a lot of angelic protection when it comes to this message today. I do feel a lot of innocence being restored as you go through this breakthrough and step into this new life. I do think things are going to look drastically different as you step into being your true self. And I do feel the energy is triggering with the red on the card as well as something comes back around, I think, to be dealt with in the energies because there is a lot of fear-based energies co coming through that quite likely could have led to some self-destructive behaviors in the past. And maybe somebody maybe undermined you in, in the energies. I do feel this really is highlighting where somebody has feared stepping into self-empowerment. And I think these changes that are happening when it comes to these challenges really are to get you back on track. I think somebody here really needs to do a little bit more research, be a detective. Um, I do feel somebody here has great powers of observation and really needing to step into their intuition. And I and I do feel this deep, deep desire to, to seek out some truth in the energies today. So let's see what needs to come through with the tarot when it comes to this message. And I did pick the Beautiful Creatures deck today. One of my favorites. The cards are just so big to shuffle. So let's see what needs to come through for the collective today. What else can you tell me about this message today? Whatever is happening, it is happening for a reason in order for you to kind of shift your perception when it comes to these energies. I do feel um, this is the lifetime where you're kind of closing out um, past karmic cycles. We did get the Nine of Pentacles in reversed with the Ace of Swords. So I kind of feel this energy of, you know, needing to release resistance when it comes to maybe a committed partnership. The Nine of Pentacles is a solitary energy. So maybe somebody here is getting ready to give up their independence uh, because maybe they, they want to demonstrate love and compassion towards somebody. I do feel a lot of truth in the energies. I do feel somebody here is getting tempted to be brave. I feel somebody here has lacked um, 
lacked the strength to come forward. There is a lack of communication in the energies. An emperor kind of refusing to send a message. I feel kind of getting ready to give up that independent energy because we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups. So somebody here is trying to find their strength, their courage, their bravery to express, I feel, um, this love that they have for somebody. With the Knight of Swords, I think somebody's trying to come up with the perfect plan, the perfect idea, and I don't think there is any communication taking place at the moment when it comes to this breakthrough. So let's see what else needs to come through. I feel um, a lot of emotions in the energy. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but it's like we've got these goldfish with monarch wings. So I feel this level of disillusionment. If somebody kind of cuts through the illusion to come forward and use their intellect and their logic to take some action because there are a lot of memories here. I do feel in the past there was a major injustice when it comes to equality. The emperor in reverse can be very narcissistic, very controlling, doesn't back down, and I do feel there was a lack of backing down from this egoic energy, this opposition, and I feel maybe somebody refused to step into this higher calling. I feel, you know, ignoring, stepping into some sovereignty. I do feel the end of something here, and that is going to be a challenge when it comes to these memories. I do feel, um, the end of a false contract, this, the Six of Cups for me is, you know, major, major change when it comes to a lack of balance in a connection. This is also, you know, not learning those negative repetitive patterns from childhood as well. And I feel not wanting to go back around and look at that in order to step into this new experience. I feel there's lots of room for improvement when it comes to some toxic belief patterns with the Six of Cups in reverse, and there is some justice playing out in the energy, there is some balance being restored. When it comes to this lack of communication, this blocked communication, I think somebody's getting ready to be put to a dead stop with the chariot reversed. I do feel a lot of stress and anxiety in the energies, and I think patience is definitely going to be key as somebody kind of processes a very poor judgment call that they made in the past. I feel somebody fears there's not going to be another opportunity. There is a final ending here that very well could lead to some financial poverty as all of these changes kind of spin somebody forward is what's coming through. There is a major lesson being learned when it comes to generosity and reciprocity. And I do feel Ace of Cups is the central energy and love is the central energy today. Um, and truth about where your heart really wants to be is kind of what I see. I do feel somebody's tried to block some memories of the past, and I think somebody here is in for a rude awakening with the chair at reverse. They're going to be put to a dead stop, no more motion forward when it comes to this tempting offer, and I feel... With the Three of Wands, it's been a long time coming. It's, it's finally time for somebody to take that first step in a new direction. And they've resisted um, maybe moving house, packing up, leaving home. Somebody really has made a very poor judgment call in the energies. There is betrayal here. There is the death or the final ending of something. And this is going to lead to financial hardship in order to embrace... Um, these changes that are trying to come through. So whatever challenge is coming up, I feel it's likely stemming around some betrayal and some financial issues. And maybe somebody here is needing to ask for help. Maybe there's an emperor here that is afraid to ask for help because he sees that as weakness as well, which would be a shadow aspect that would need to definitely be integrated in the, in the energies. So... I do see Aries here. I do see Gemini really strongly, some Gemini energy. And that's really about what I see here um, on the board right now, um, Cancer with the Chariot. So you could be dealing with one of those signs or be one of those signs, but I would like to, to keep going and dig a little bit deeper into these energies. Generosity is key. I feel somebody is, is going to be needing some financial assistance in the energies so tell me more about this nine of pentacles in reverse queen of swords so uh i do feel somebody fears coming forward and facing this queen of swords because she is all about the truth there is definitely an apology coming i feel when it comes to this energy so it really is about stepping into authenticity 
I do feel um, the solution is truth and honesty in the energies, perhaps an apology. I feel maybe in the past there was a lack of reciprocation. And I do feel great, great fear when it comes to an apology needing to come forward. Um, you know, the truth of the matter is, is the time is now to bring healing back into a situation. Moderation is key when it comes to using your intellect. When it comes to restoring a sense of balance, I also feel divine, divine guidance in the energy when it comes to this weaving behind the scenes. And I feel somebody really is needing to have that bravery to face whatever betrayal is at hand. I feel somebody here has been deeply betrayed and backstabbed in the energies and maybe this emperor deeply betrayed somebody and is really needing to find their strength to come forward and offer that apology um you know sometimes the hardest thing to do is come forward with that truth so with the emperor reversed we do have the knight of cups and the queen of wands so the queen of wands for me with two queens showing up is third party energy i feel somebody got caught up in something flashy glittery and I do think they're kind of stiffed bored. This Queen of Wands kind of is looking away. I feel it's gotten really juvenile in a situation. And there is a need to kind of restore a sense of balance. The Emperor is, I feel, having a heart chakra awakening. It's kind of what I feel. The Ace of Cups clarified by the Emperor. So somebody is getting ready to take back control of their life. Maybe um, this Queen of Wands had an affair on this Emperor in reverse. And it really was... A, a deep betrayal which in turn created a heart chakra awakening with this emperor energy in order to get him to you know open up his heart i feel an aries energy here that is getting ready to take some action towards a new beginning in love and yeah that knight of swords is is rushing in i feel with a love offer there is definitely a heart chakra awakening and somebody is trying to Figure out the most ideal way to come forward and communicate after a period of blocked communication. So let's see what else needs to come through here. Oh, new deck. Not even a card that flipped out. <laughs> All right. Somebody's been in hanged man position in a period of deep disillusionment when it comes to this blocked communication. When it comes to this brand new cycle in love, this brand new life trying to come through. I do feel a period of self-punishment. I do feel somebody kind of made their bed and they and they had to lie in it for a little bit is what's coming through. Um, so we do have Pisces energy now, but I do feel somebody was in a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories, and it created a lot of disillusionment. And I think somebody here was in deep self-reflection in order to gain that sense of enlightenment when it comes to walking away from a very dissatisfying situation. There is a new beginning at hand. Somebody here is getting ready to step through the doorway to step into their soul's purpose to demonstrate compassion love honesty is what i feel to kind of jump into this new beginning and go full steam ahead we do have the fool the chariot wow and the strength so there was this lack of indecision i feel somebody felt a karmic attachment and they feared letting go and and i feel if there was any past betrayal there is some harsh karmic judgment in the energy somebody here is missing out on a major opportunity as this finality kind of takes place so i feel um somebody's about to get left out in the cold ghosted as somebody you know closes a major cycle there's something here that's getting the brakes put on and i feel there's been a lot of stress and anxiety when it comes to people in and around this masculine um, wearing a mask, really needing to find his strength to restore a sense of equality. We have the Six of Cups <laughs> with the Nine of Swords and the Devil. So that's the Six of Cups in reverse. So yeah, somebody here has been really, really stressed when it comes to breaking free from a very tempting offer. I think a very high price is being paid in the energy as somebody you know breaks free and steps into some authenticity there is an ending here there is somebody getting left out in the cold and i think somebody's thought long and hard about this i think there's been a lot of sleepless nights when it comes to breaking free from something that just feels like like you're chained to the ground and i feel it's been very codependent it's been it's been very toxic and there is going to be um victory here i think somebody's not going to back down from opposition and somebody is going to get ready to send that message 
to reach out. I feel if you've not been communicating, there's going to be a lot of back and forth messages very, very soon. The Wheel of Fortune is divine timing. I feel the divine time is now to put in the work. There's a lot of passion here. And I feel somebody has repressed their passion for a certain situation. When it does come to a higher level of commitment. So I think get ready. There is an unexpected choice in love today. I think somebody's really been holding back their emotions in this truth for quite some time. And I do believe um, the time is now for, for a missed opportunity to come back around for a spiritual connection, to come back together as somebody comes into to, into this soul alignment. So let's get a couple Romance Angels cards and see what else needs to come through when it comes to this message today. Yeah, finances and career. I think somebody is really struggling financially and it truly has affected their love life. And I think forgiveness is gonna be key when it comes to some past betrayal. Um, there's definitely a lot being released and healed in the energy when it comes to the past. And I do feel you're really needing to keep an open mind. I think somebody here was really stuck on this tempting offer. And I think somebody's soulmate here is definitely different from what their usual soulmate type is like. So keep an open mind when it comes to that. There's definitely a lot of chemistry when it comes to a strong magnetic attraction and a breakthrough and stepping into purpose. And, that, and this truly does have to stem around some past life relationships. And I think if you've not communicated with somebody in a very long time, get ready for some communication and to kind of open up and get to know each other at a deeper level um, to really deepen a bond, I feel, as you really both kind of open up your most innermost selves and, and step into perhaps self-development together. There's definitely going to be a challenge ahead, financial challenge. I think somebody's trying to test you when it comes to your personal beliefs. So stay strong in your truth. Stay strong and don't fall into temptation in the energies. It's time to really turn up your light, um, to really explore a new, a, new, a new avenue is what's coming through. Yeah, explore some hidden depths. There's a lot of foresight coming through in the energies. I feel a lot of breakthroughs when it comes to seeing um, the pathway forward. I feel somebody's about to be met with a lot of unreasonable um, resistance when it comes to this new higher pathway, when it comes to this higher level of commitment. And I feel um, somebody really got stuck in some status quo, I feel. So I think that there's a deep need to get back into some good vibrations is what's coming through and to to really dig yourself out of a self-imposed prison that I feel you've really lingered in a little bit too long. I feel there's been a lot of indecision when it comes to this crossroads, when it comes to this brand new beginning, when it comes to laying down a burden in order to kind of work together again. So I do feel Somebody's getting ready to shake off a very shallow offer, a very shallow situation that I think has cost them a lot financially and to really construct a new pathway forward, to really build a solid connection. There is an unexpected choice in love, I think. So get ready to dive into some deep, deep loving emotions and feelings when it comes to this offer coming forward. So get ready. I think somebody's kind of peered into the future. They know exactly where they want to go and they're getting a grip on the reality and they're getting ready to step into their true purpose and come forward with that truth. So something's about to get lit up in the energies today. So I think maybe in the past somebody was met with a lot of skepticism and cynicism and really maybe used too much logic but, um, you know, the spiritual journey truly is a journey of the heart. It, you can't logically make your way through this journey. So I think somebody really di dishonored themselves and they're getting ready to restore a sense of valor in their life is what's coming through today. And that's what I got for the message today, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. Thank you.